Hey guys, it is Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Got a great song from Puddle of Mud today. We're gonna learn how to do Blurry. So this is a challenging song. Uh, the harmonic riff, uh, you know, when you listen to it, you wouldn't think that's actually one guitar doing all that stuff, but it is. It's just a lot going on. It's a very tricky little riff. The rest of the song is pretty easy, but that in and of itself is, is gonna be quite the challenge. I will let you know, um, it's a lot easier to play on acoustic than it is electric. Like I'm, I'm playing a, a little tuned down electric here and the string to just not high enough to make this harmonics pop like you, you as well as easily um, than if you had that on an acoustic guitar which has more string tension and you're gonna be able to play those harmonics easier. So if you have the option, unlike I have right now, I would say um, play it on acoustic. <laughs> it's a lot easier to play. Now, before we get into it, please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Ring the notification bell so you know it's a new video. Uh, you can like and comment on the lessons and kind of really help uh, the lessons get pushed out to more people. And um, if you like what I do here on YouTube, I think you'll love my Guitar Academy. I have an online guitar school. You're going to see a link to it in the description below. It contains all of my guitar courses from complete beginner courses to more advanced courses on technique, improvisation, ear training, theory, guitar tone, you name it. I go live there every weekend just with Academy members, like a live chat live video stream it's uh it's a pretty cool time and so hopefully hope you'll come and join us you get a free seven day trial by clicking that link below all right so i'm tuned down a half step to e flat standard or d sharp standard whatever you want to call it every string down a half step uh, i'll put those notes in the description but you can just e flat a flat d flat g flat e flat and e flat or if your tuner reads sharps it's going to be d sharp g sharp C sharp, F sharp, A sharp, and D sharp. All right, so there's a lot of guitar layers in this song. We're gonna, we're gonna take care of most of them. Um, you'll probably just wanna, there's really, you'll find two main parts in a lot of them that you can just play if you have like a two guitar band or whatever. But the uh, real star of the show is this harmonic riff here. So let's take a look at that first because it's pretty consistent throughout. The way you hear it in the very beginning is only slightly different than how you hear it in the rest of the song for the verses and stuff. So we're going to start here off of the whole song for a huge part of it, except for during the bridge, is really based uh, well, that little jam section before the bridge, actually. It's just based off of uh, just one chord progression, pretty much just C, D, D, E. But they do a lot of variations over that. Um, so that's why in the root of these harmonics, we're going to have uh, the actual fretted note of C, then D, then E, when these harmonics go on, on over it. So let's look at the riff that happens over the C note. So we have this, um, I'm calling it a C, I know it's like a, a, a B right now because of the, the tuning, but I'm going to call it the, like a, I'm gonna call it out like a standard tuning. So third fret here. We're going to start by playing the natural note, uh, fretted note, the third fret on the A string, and then you're going to play the harmonic and the fourth fret on the D. On the, um, the fourth fret on the D string. And then the harmonic over the fifth fret of the G, and then the fifth fret of the D. So, see, I'm still letting that C ring in the bass, and that's kind of part of the challenge here. Is you have to really arc that finger so you can have these you're not touching the d or the g with that index finger because it's not going to let the harmonics ring out so all right so now after you've got that much of it so it starts with kind of like a three note lick in harmonics and then we get into a more consistent pattern we're going to start back here with the fretted note on the a so Right here, it's going to start the next group of three, which is going to be picking the fretted note on the A and then a harmonic on the G of that fourth fret. By the way, the harmonics are going to come out better the closer you pick to the bridge. So, fourth fret on the G to fourth fret on the D. So, with that, so so far. And then we're going to kind of do the same lick again. So instead of going the harmonics of the fourth fret, we're going to do them by the fifth fret. So hit that fretted note first, then fifth fret on the G harmonic, and then fifth fret on the D harmonic. So, so far we have this. So it's three harmonics to start it, and then... 
And then we do what we just did, uh, which is like the three note, the kind of the more consistent pattern. So it kind of does this. Where you're just doing the four to five, just two harmonics across those with that fretted note in the bass. So, so far over the C, this is the pattern. Now we're gonna take that same pattern with the harmonic. We play the same harmonics, but we're gonna have the D in the bass. So we're gonna move up here to the fifth fret, will be the fretted note on the A string. And then there's different ways of playing different ways of playing it. I like to kind of play it with this finger so I can really arc it. But you're really dancing around with those harmonics. So it's the same lick that we did, riff we did here, but that fretted note's always on the fifth fret now. And you gotta find your favorite fingerings to do that. So once again, fifth fret on the A, and then harmonic at the fourth on the D, fifth on the G, fifth on the um, D. And then the three note patterns, the more consistent one. at the fourth fret, then five, then four again, then five. So, so far we have this. I'm sorry. Then up to five. All right, now from there, we're gonna change things up a little bit. We're gonna move up to the seventh fret on the A string. So that's gonna start kind of with this. Oh, we're gonna start with the seventh fret fretted on the A string, then the fourth fret uh, on the um, D harmonic, then this fifth fret on the G harmonic, then back to that fourth fret. And then we're gonna get to the two note pattern instead of the three harmonics that starts in each time. So those are three harmonics that start it, but then we're gonna start doing this. So, so we have this. After you get here, go back and hit the seventh fret there on the A. Then you get a fit, the fourth fret harmonic on the G and the fifth fret harmonic on the D. And then you're going to start that three note pattern again. But what you're going to do is you're going to reverse the notes here on the harmonics. Instead of fourth fret on the G, uh, fifth fret there on the D, we're going to go fifth fret on the G and then the fourth fret there on the D. So we're going to go like this. Reverse them again, back to the fourth fret on the G and fifth fret on the D. So we have this. And then after you do that, uh, the second time of playing the fourth on the G, fifth on the D, you're gonna hit that open, I mean, you're gonna hit that um, E note there, the seventh fret on the A string, and then jump up here and grab the two harmonics at the first one at the fifth fret on the high E and then the fifth fret on the B. It's quite a jump. So we have this. And then you start with the harmonic again. You stay here at the seventh fret there on the A. It's repeated the exact same thing again. So the whole part for the intro. repeat that. And then you do all of that again. Um, and then we get the, there's a, there's a little thing that kind of happens um, over the, uh, the harmonic riff. You'll see it here, a little guitar fill um, come in with it as well, but there's some chords that come in too. So the chords when you first hear that come in when the band comes in and this harmonic riff continues to go, uh, we're just, they're just power chords at first. They end up being more sus2 chords a little bit later on. But for right now, so 
So that's just a power chord off the third fret of the A string. So um, third fret on the A, five on the D and the G. Take it up two frets to the D power chord, and then the E power chord. And when you get to the E power chord, you can add the low E string in there as well. All right, so as you continue the, uh, the intro there, when this comes in and the harmonic riff is still going in over this, you're gonna hear a third guitar come in and do this. So it's just a little layer there. That's probably the most non-essential part. It sounds cool though, so let's take a look at it. If you have a third guitarist, I can play that real quick. That's the 17th fret on the high E, and then 20th fret there on the B. And then it's gonna go 17, 19 on the high E. Then one more time with that. And then go back down at 17 to the 20 on the B again. All right, then we get to the actual verse here. Uh, now the verse, when you see them play this live, um, they're obviously they, it's impossible to do all the things that are going on on the recording, because there's a lot of layers, there's a lot of guitars going on, some acoustics, some electrics. Um, so I kind of like putting some of them together here, um, so you can really make it sound good with just one guitar. Um, but it pretty much starts out like we just did that. We're gonna have uh, this little, you can do power chords here, and then maybe fill it out a little bit with the open B and open high E. Like I said, as the song progresses, those chords change to more, especially during the chord. Full sus two chord, but we'll talk about that in a second. So we're doing this, we're moving up here to E5, the E power chord. Then you act like you're gonna do it again, right? C. We got that open B and high E going with it, and then the D chord. And then here, what we're gonna do is jump back here, and we see him play live, it just goes up to this E. But you can hear the recording, it goes to a a, I mean an E sus4, which is the second fret of the A, D, and the G. All the other strings open, resolves down to, to an E major chord. So that's kind of how this, the chord progression in this song goes. It goes more of like a, a power chord version, like C, D, E, and then it goes C, D, E major. That's kind of how this prog overall progression of this song goes. So every other time that in E is just kind of like an E major chord. All right, so, and you can see he goes there with the vocal melody as well, too. All right, so that's what's going on um, there, and we have, um, over that verse as well, we have another little guitar that comes in there, and it ends up um, kind of building to the chorus. Now, this fill that you're going to hear kind of halfway through the verse looks like this. takes us to the, the, the chorus there. So he's just kind of playing the third fret there on the uh, A string. It's kind of that little lick. So we go three on the A, five on the D, back to four on the D. Then you just kind of pick across those two strings. 
couple times. And then you're going to hammer back on from uh, to that five, from that four, and pick the five again, and then down to the open D. So this. And then we kind of do the same thing, except it's five in the, on the raised string instead of three. And then we're up to the seventh fret there on the A string. And then this one's a little different. So that's just seven on the A, then five, four on the D, and then back and forth between those. Like once, or actually twice. And then the second time, hammer on five, and then back down to four. Just kind of hold that. And then we kind of start the lick again. And then this last time, just goes hammers uh, four to five. And instead of going back to the four on the D, you go to the four on the G. So all together. And then you start repeating it, the first two parts at least over the C and the D, the same. And then he jumps up here, turns on the distortion, and we're gonna jump up and he's So yeah, I think he's got a, 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 cust, a, a PRS Custom 24. So he's he, he's got that full access up there. You might not be able to play all those. You might need to move them over to different strings. Uh, but how I feel he's playing them. We're going to start here. The 11th fret there on the A, 13th there on the G. So that that octave there, a G sharp octave, and then move everything up to the 12th fret. Those two notes. Then 14. And then up to 17. So I'm calling out, when I call it the fret, it's the, where the index finger's at. So it's just a basic octave shape. Up to 17, and then go up to 19, 21, 22. So you might have to take these, these, these octaves here and move it. I'd like to the 14 on the D and the 17 on the B, and then up, like there. So if your guitar doesn't have that full 24 fret range. All right, now from there, um, we go to the actual chorus, which uh, kind of has three guitars, two main guitars. Uh, so here, we're going to really go to those uh, sus2 chords. So, the, so we have this part first. So that is a, you're going to be playing a, a bar across five strings. So from that fifth fret on the A string all the way across the high E. And in front of it, you'll have the fifth fret there on the uh, D and the G. That means that you're going to be barring the second fret across the uh, B and the high E. So that'll make it a C sus2 chord. Then you're going to want to take that and up to uh, kind of slide up to the D. And then when you get to the E chord, go back to that big open power chord. So we have the open E string and the open B and high E with it. And it's just a seventh fret on the A, ninth on the D and G. So we have this. Again. All right, now with that, we have the other guitarist playing, got a root, um, the, the chords that are kind of, has the fifth in the bass of the power chord. So like... So that 
that's just going to be um, the third fret on the low E and the A with the fifth fret there on the D. So that's that. This is the power chord, it's a C power chord, but we're going to put we're putting the fifth of the chord in the bass, so it makes it sound like it's an octave lower almost. So it goes well with this chord. Now, if you have one guitar, you can play them together. You can play like that sus two chord and put that third fret on the low E string. And then that. So, but it's this root, uh, the, this uh, fifth in the bass shape here. Then move it up two frets, and then up two more frets. So and a repeat. So those are the two main parts in the in the chorus, but. There's a third guitar that's added that comes in the second time through when we have that. When we get up this E chord. There's an octave overdub added. So it can sound good to just kind of go to that. So kind of go like. So that's there on the recording. So that's just, uh, I'm hitting the low E string and then the 11th fret right there on the A and the 13th on the G. Get that G sharp octave, makes it an E major there sound. All right, so uh, that's what's going on in the chorus. Then we go back through the same verse, um, same chorus, and then we get to this kind of like, kind of a, a little instrumental section that leads us into the bridge, uh, which looks like this. So now that's kind of the whole octave riff that happens, and then we went into the actual bridge itself there and the octaves that happen over that. Um, that's the only new thing there. There is obviously underneath, underneath the, um, uh, we're kind of jamming out in the beginning of that. And just kind of on an E power chord, and then when it gets to the nobody don't you want to go, and the, that other octaves, which I'll show you the octave melody, that's just back to that same. Sus2 to the D, sus2 to, to the E, open power chord, so that open B and open high E there on that one. So that's what's going on when the vocals come in there. On the, so we've already seen that. But so that thing that happens on top of it, we're going to start we're here. We're going to have. So this is just kind of hanging out over an E chord. So you're going to hit the low E string in the base of these. Uh, octaves and the octave melody is going to be there the ninth fret on the A, 11th fret on the G. So let's look at the melody first. So take that and slide it up to the 10th fret and then back down to the ninth, back to 10, and then back down to 9. So this. So you do that over this low E. Repeat. And then it come, the melody moves up, up to 10, to 12, to 14. And now that's when the vocals come in. And we have this long um, melody that happens with it. And it keeps going back into this riff too. So that melody over this, over that same kind of chord progression before when the vocals are coming into the bridge, is this, this, that octave at the 14th fret off the A. Then down to the 12th fret. Then down to the 5th fret real quick. And then back to that octave riff. And then it 
come, climb his back way, uh, his way back up like he did before, and then we're back to the same thing again. 14, 12, and five in that same octave riff. So he just does that octave riff once there the second time and then goes into this. That's the end of the bridge. So that's gonna be the 11th fret. So it basically went to major, E major. So we are with the um, 11th fret there on the A and 13th on the G. And then take it down to nine. And then uh, seven. So all together for that section again. And then we're back to the same chorus again. With the, that under it. All right, now over this, um, we get to a little, um, this little guitar solo that comes in over this last chorus. Looks like this. All right, so that's going to start with a hammer on um, on 12 to 14 on the D, over to 12 on the, on the G, and then 14, 12, 14. So repeat that again. And repeat it one more time. And then we're just going to go 12, 14, 12, 14. That's kind of the first half of it. Now the second time through it, we're going to change up the melody notes. So we're going to have this, it starts the same way. So that same lick there, but now we're going to change the note. We're going to do that lick again, but we're going to change the note on the G string to the 14th fret. So we have that camera 12, 14, 14 on the G, and then back to 14, 12, 14 on the D. And then we're going to change the note on the melody string again, uh, on, the, on the G string to the 13th fret. So we have this. And then we're going to end it 12, 14, 12. All right, now from there it goes back into pretty much the intro, what, what we're doing in the intro of the song uh, with all the harmonic riff and stuff. And then at the very end, we have these little series of harmonics that ends the song. And that looks like this. So that's going to start with the 4th fret harmonic at the D string on, and then over to the 5th fret harmonic on the G and the 5th uh, fret harmonic on the D. Then over to the 4th fret harmonic on the G string and then we're going to go up to the high E, 5th fret harmonic, 4th fret harmonic, I mean sorry, 5th fret harmonic on the high E, then the B, then the G and then the 4th fret harmonic on the D string. So we have this. And then you just hear kind of a subdue, just really kind of low. Um, you barely hear that G sharp in there, but it's in there. It's just that E major chord, standard E major chord you learned your first day of guitar. And that is it. So it's a challenging song, mostly that harmonic riff, but then getting all the layers together to what it sounds like the recording, because they're taking a very simple chord progression and they're just kind of developing it over and over again and adding all these layers over it. And that's how the song builds. So it's, it's really, really good song. And 
Uh, it's got some great stuff in it. A harmonic riff is not easy to play, especially on a on an electric guitar that's tuned down. It just doesn't have enough string tension to make it pop. But so if you have an acoustic, it's a, it'd be really good to practice it on that. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.